animation in Blender, we are going to create a nice bouncing ball. We're doing a bouncing ball and not a bouncing cube. So X and delete that thing. Add a mesh and let's do a UV sphere. It needs to bounce, so we need to bring it up. So I'm going to hit G, Z, and just pull it up a bit. I pulled it out of screen. I'm going to hit home, so I see my entire scene. There's a camera and a light in the scene by default. They get in the way a bit, so I'm going to go over here and turn off the visibility of my camera and the visibility of the light, so we just see that one sphere. I need something to bounce on, so I'm also going to add a grid. And if you add an object, you get the options in the corner where you can change the parameters. I'm going to make it big enough, let's say 25, a pretty big floor. We can also go over here and call it floor. So in the outliner, you can change the names of things. Let's go to sphere and call it a ball. So we have a ball and a floor. The camera and light are now hidden. I'm going to move the ball over here, move it in X a little. I don't need the details. And I'm going to make it bounce. Down at the bottom, we have the timeline. There is currently nothing happening if I scroll. We do not need 250 frames, so let's make it say 120. We can use this bar down here to bigify the frames down here. Uh, spacebar, place the animation. There's nothing playing yet, but we'll get to that in a second. Shift arrow back gets you back to the beginning of your timeline. We want to set a keyframe to make it animate. There are keyframe options over here. The active keying set, there's nothing there. We want to set keyframes on location first. So I'm going to hit location. And I want to insert a keyframe. So I'm going to hit I. I inserts a keyframe. You can see the diamond right there. Now I'm going to go to a different frame, say 25. I'm going to go G, X to move to an X and move it over here. And I'm going to set another keyframe, hitting I. Now if I hit spacebar, or let's go shift arrow back to frame one, hit spacebar, it animates, yay. Halfway in the middle, I want it on the ground. So go to frame 13, we're gonna go G, Z and pull it down to where it just hits the floor. There we go. And set another keyframe. And now we can see it move, but it doesn't bounce. It sort of graces the floor. I'm going to actually zoom in a bit more and make it go to just 48. We do not want it to grace the floor, we want it to bounce. So we need to change how it moves between these keyframes. So we need to change the interpolation. To start doing that, we are going to go to the animation layout. You get the camera view, we don't need that. So I'm gonna push that to the side. This is our scene view. I don't see my ball, so I'm gonna hit home. That's the entire scene and it's still graces the floor. Here we have the dope sheet and we see our keyframes. You can also zoom in here or just hit home to zoom in. Three keyframes. We want to change the interpolation. The best way to do that is instead of the dope sheet to go to the graph editor. There we see our curves. Hitting home to zoom in. I'm going to focus on the up and down first, the Z. So I'm going to turn off the other two. Again, hit home to zoom in. I'll make this window a little bit bigger. And you see it nicely eases into the fall, but then it slows down before it hits the floor and then speeds up again. 
making this a nice ease in and ease out, which we do not want on a bounce. It needs to hit it hard and then bounce back. We can make it hit hard by, oops, don't do all of them, just take this one, by adjusting this tangent. And now it will hit the floor hard, but go through it and then still seem to grace it. We need to break the tangent here. In order to break the tangent, I'm going to hit V to make the handle type free. Now if I, and you can navigate the uh, window just like you do the 3D window, so middle click lets you move around. I'm going to grab the other handle now and see it only does that one. They are now free. They are no longer linked. So home to show everything, going back to the beginning, hit spacebar, boom. It's now much more of a bounce when we have these sort of evened out. So V lets you adjust the handle type. It's still not quite right. Why? Because the X movement seems to be off. Let's look at the X movement. Let's look at the entire curve. Home. Oh. It also eases in and out. That does not make much sense. It should maybe be linear. So take our X location and we can set the interpolation type to linear. Let's see what that looks like. Better. When you set it to linear, you no longer have control over the interpolation. It just goes evenly from one to the other. We can also, and adjusting the interpolation type is T, and I remember that because T is a tangent. T, I'm going to set it back to BG, and I'm going to just manually make it move linearly. The Y location doesn't have any animation, so looking at all of them together now, I do have a basic bouncing ball. Next would be to add another bounce, to add some squash and stretch, and maybe to add rotation, but the basic bounce is there. 